Why is so-called Prophet Letebo Rabalaho using doom to heal people? Have modern day pastors become a law unto themselves? And how does one qualify to become a prophet? Why has the so-called prophet of doom's healing method triggered a huge public outcry? What time is it? It's question time. Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Paul. Say the social media has been set up buzz with images showing 24-year-old Limpopo-based pastor Tebo Rabalach spraying a toxic insecticide in the faces of his congregation. And the so-called prophet of doom and leader of Mount Zion General Assembly says he's simply following in the footsteps of Pastor Daniel Lesejo. In a statement, Tiger Brands, the manufacturers of doom, says it has contacted Rabalajo asking him to stop spraying the poisonous insecticide in people's faces. For its part, the CRL Commission says church leaders who have adopted harmful practices can only be dealt with once religious and traditional healers are regulated. But why has religion become such a controversial topic? We are live and therefore you can call us and air your views. The numbers to dial 89 Our Twitter handle at question time 24. My guest, Paseka Mpaorum Twining, he's a pastor and prophet at Incredible Happenings, and Reverend Mishak van Beek, he's the chairperson of the African Christian Democratic Party here in Gauteng. And on the line, we'll be joined by Lawrence Sibbert. Uh, Sibbert, rather, he's a category executive at Tiger Brands. And uh, we're <coughs> welcoming your calls throughout this show. Uh, we want to hear what do you think as a Christian or just a South African or just somebody who finds himself or herself watching the show. What were your impressions or what are your feelings about what this pastor in Limpopo has done? Gentlemen, let me welcome you to the show. Um, um, <coughs> things of this nature, uh, you know, are said, there, there seem to be becoming you know a a norm and we thought let's invite you uh, you are also a pastor you are a televangelist and um, quite popular out there what is your view firstly perhaps um, with regards to this doom story no first of all i can say uh, <coughs> media it's giving attention to this act now they motivate these youngsters to uh, do this so that they can become famous. But as the church, God uses different methods to heal people. But the foundation is based on what Jesus has done on the cross. And the anointing uh, can do extraordinary things. We read in the Bible, Peter's shadow healed people. Uh, the Paul uh, put, they put handkerchiefs on his clothes and uh, people were healed through the water, different methods. But you cannot use anything harmful, destructive to others, which you cannot use it upon yourself. And this, the danger of it is that uh, it is manufactured by a company and it has already put in there that you cannot use this and that. And, and now if somebody does that, children who follow pastors, uh, because the, 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 the pastoral office is a very high authority, high position, respected, uh, they will start using it and start blinding other children and, and, and killing other people. So it is a very uh, dangerous method uh, which is done. Okay, let's uh, perhaps just talk to the manufacturers of this product of Doom. Uh, Lauren, are you on the line? Yes, I am. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you very much for joining us. Surely when you, I mean, in as much as you're looking for publicity, I don't think this is how you wanted your product to be um, known. No, no, absolutely not. Um, so we obviously are, were quite alarmed and concerned when we started seeing the posts on social media. Um, and we just wanted to make it very clear that it, it isn't safe to spray doom or, or any other aerosol spray, for that matter, into people's faces. Um, 
Doom has been formulated to kill specific kinds of insects, which, and the details are on the cans. And the packaging is very clear about giving health warnings for humans. And we need people to adhere to those health warnings. Um, we, we really encourage people to only use Doom for the purposes that it intend, is intended for, and that really is about killing insects. What are you going to do? Obviously, I mean, this has affected your brand in a way. So we, we've been trying to get a responsible message out there to the consumers to say, please, we don't encourage this. Please only use Doom for insects. Um, and that has been our priority over the last 48 hours in making sure that the Tiger Brands distances ourselves from, from any behavior with Doom that is not necessarily appropriate and which could cause harm to our consumers and, and our South African friends. Okay, uh, Lauren, thank you very, very much for, for your time. At least you, we have heard it from your, I mean, the authorities themselves that doom is not to be used for any healing. It's not to be used on any human uh, person. The African Christian Democratic Party, you are a political party. What are you going to do with this type of things? The religion which you espouse is being tainted. Um, the African Christian Democratic Party obviously condemns this kind of behavior of people that calls them prophets, uh, people that calls them um, people that are called by God and they abuse the vulnerable, they abuse the congregation. So the ACDP is against that. Um, our president has released a, a media statement mm -hmm. um, stating exactly what I'm, I'm saying. Um, I remember at one stage he also, uh, as Reverend Kenneth Meshwe, tried to lay a charge against uh, somebody that was also um, ill-behaving. Mm. Um, and when he tried to lay the charge, the police said, but they can't take the case because the people that are being abused or the people that are being... Um, the, the, uh, yeah, the indeed, those said, who are being abused. They obviously uh, did not come and lay a charge. So they can't do that. Now, the ACDP is seeking for legal advice. Mm -hmm. and, and we are even motivating Christian lawyers to begin to look at the law and advise police as to what to do. Okay. Because you cannot, even sitting here as a pastor, you cannot be using doom on members. Okay. It's ungodly, it's unbiblical. Let's take uh, Tabelo. Is it Tabelo or Tabelo? Tabelo. Okay. In Fos Loras, yes. Yes, how are you, sir? I'm well. Thanks for the call. Yes, Mpo. Yes. Number one, eh? Yes. I'm not uh, attending to uh, Mboro's church. I want to be clear. Number two, you should have invited those people from that commission, that anti Mboro commission. Now it's time for that commission to do their job with this kind of pastors. Because according to me, there was nothing wrong that Mboro was doing. He uses water and Vaseline as far as I know. But there are churches that uses doom, snake and everything. I think to my view, those are churches that need to be investigated. Thank you very much. Okay, Tapelo, thank you very much for your call. In fact, uh, we are happy to announce that or rather to report that indeed tomorrow we're going to be having the commission uh, representative, the uh, Mayor uh, Togo Taluva, um, Taluva um, is going to be our guest tomorrow. So indeed, we'll, we'll pose some of those questions. We're taking your calls on 089-110-4210. Let's hear what you have to say. Um, you know, what, what happens here is that people say, these are churches sabomporo, you know, um, although you may not have, um, you know, sprayed people with this, you are affected. Yeah, you see, it's because of the lack of understanding. Uh, I preach Christ, and this thing is the problem with them. It's not about this pastor or this church. It's affecting the whole body of Christ, okay. and it is costing the antichrist. Uh, and, and the enemies of Christianity to rise up and say, uh, now churches must, there must be rules like this and like this to regulate churches. They need to focus, number one, there are legal implications. There are laws in this country which protects people. And if anyone violates the law, including Muporo, you know, it's out of the word of God. The word of God made it clear. We are guided by the law of the spirit. In our hearts, God deals with our conscience. We don't need laws. 
But okay. once we, we, we step out, then we, we, are, we, we are no longer uh, living in, in, in God's principles. Okay. Let's take a quick break. When we return, we'll be continuing with the show. But a reminder that indeed we did um, get hold of uh, the pastor of Doom in Limpopo. Uh, excuse the pun, but yeah, we spoke to him. He said, no, 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 I don't want to be on question time at the time. I'll be driving anyway, so no media for me anymore. Well, we did try. 089-110-4210, we shall return. Black Friday weekend at Macro with hundreds of deals that are too big for Friday only. Get the Terrace Leisure Satin 594 burner gas fry, only 2999. Save 2,000 Rand. A high sense 220 liter fridge with top freezer, only 1899. Save 900 Rand. And the LG 55 inch smart UHD LED TV for 999. Save 3,000 Rand. Don't miss Macro's Black Friday weekend. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Save up to 45% on selected in store and online deals. Macro, big on life. It's more than a gift. It's capturing summer magic. Get a Galaxy S7 Edge with Tab 3 Lite Bundle for $6.99 per month on my MTN Choice Flexi 200. Plus your choice of a Gear VR or an accessory kit. The Galaxy S7 Edge, now in blue coral. Celebrate the holidays at Macro with big festive season savings like a Johnny Walker 18-year-old platinum label whiskey gift pack with two glasses, only 949. Save 50 Rand. Johnny Walker Black Label Whiskey Gift Pack with two glasses, only 290. Save 20 Rand. And Johnny Walker's best-selling red label whiskey gift pack with one glass, only 180. Save 20 Rand. Share in these and other big festive savings for home, for business, for life. Only at Macro. Big on life. Welcome back. You're still watching Question Time. Today we were talking about the uh, prophet of doom, as in the prophet who used doom. He claims, and I read here, I believe all these things are about God and we are getting a good response. I guess which is what Pastor Mboro was saying here. The main thing is that people are healed. Remember the congregation are my sheep. And as the shepherd, I know what is good for them. This is a 24-year-old. My guest, Pasek Amboromtsu, in Incredible Happenings, and uh, Reverend Mishak Van Beke is the chairperson of the ACDP here in Gauteng. Deboho, you are on the line, you are in the Free State. Yes, Mbappe. Welcome. What's up, Captain Paul? Yes. Um, go ahead, uh, switch your, your TV, uh, I think, uh, just lower the volume there so that you can hear me directly. Captain uh, Yes, in that work. Because <laughs> But to one of what you know, I'd say, Le Leba Jang, Axuma Juang, Banabu de Petrole, Leva Sandisan Dumumon. How long to have a Kubel Lang, whatever it is in to say, nobody is, how many Kahola kids have a one of the Gumel. I've been for Gumel and Lue, Len Nagimel and Lueneker, Barata, Barata, because all Banabai is in Chito, Timpagina and Zaman at the people here high, the facility of Tim. Who love you, the devil, say, I don't want to calling us from Free State saying, look, we're now scared to even go to church. And I was just saying, well, look, people are doing this voluntarily. I mean, there's nobody who's really putting a gun on their heads and say, look, you're going to eat the grass, you will drink petrol, you'll eat the snake, and here, uh, I'm going to, you know, spray you with this doom and all that. But hey, this is what people are doing voluntarily. We're taking your calls right here on Question Time. We want to hear from you. What do you think? Pastor, the ministry... Are you losing it? No. Um, you must remember there's, there's two kinds of leaders the Bible talks about, or shepherds. Mm -hmm. 
talks about shepherds that will lay people astray and he talks about good shepherds. Yes. So God wants shepherds to shepherd his flock and not take advantage of his flock. Well, he says he is a shepherd and these are his sheep. Yeah, well, it's, it's his sheep. We shepherd in God's flock. There's a difference between the two. Mm -hmm. So what we also need to understand is that um, these, these, peeps, of these people are vulnerable. Uh, they take advantage of people's ignorance, um, the fact that people obviously have lo lost hope, and they play on the emotions of people. Now, we do not argue if someone says he's been called by God, but time will tell if he's called by God. The things that he does that is unbiblical, you cannot say he's called by God. It's, 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 it's very ungodly that, it, that they do. Okay, Katleho, uh, welcome to the show. Hey, how's it going? I'm well, thanks for the call. I'm good, man. I, I just wonder, like, how can a head of the family, like a father, allow himself to be used like that? I mean, our father should be the head of the family. So what is he telling the family, like, my children, let's go get doomed. It's like people are so desperate to believe, like, they have more... A lot of problems, like they would do anything and believe anything that they present to them. And when a doom has got a message written like it's harmful to humans, but they are still using it anyway. I think these changes should be investigated. Thank you, Mpo. Thanks very much, Katleho. Well, how are we going to really get rid of this? I think it's a call uh, for the body of Christ to unite. And the Bible says we must test the spirits. And uh, Jesus is, is a chief shepherd. He says, I lay down my life for the sheep. Uh, I cannot, if I lead, and Paul says, follow me as I follow Christ. If it is right to use doom, spread it in your eyes first, number one. If it is right to do it, use it in yourself and, and everything that has to do with you. But you, you, you pastors, and I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I'm with you here, you don't take very kindly to being questioned. I mean, if I was to say, hey, the temporal have a problem and you pick up a doom and you want to spray it and I say, hey, wait, 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 not, not, not doom. You're going to question my faith. Now, people are going, this is a sign. You see, the problem is that I see uh, the, the CRL talks about the finances of the church, talks about the certificates and all that. They run away from their role. They must protect all religions and the people uh, themselves mm -hmm. if they are, they, are, they are following justice. Uh, one, this is a human rights issue. It has nothing to do with, with religion. There are magicians that, that will use, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 weapons and do this as if it is there. So we don't even know the spirit that, that these people are doing it. We have an issue of drought in the country. Mboro prayed for the rain. It's raining. We, if you want to show your power and God, we have unemployment. We have people who are very sick, terminally ill. We need to take the grace, not to demonstrate any power to anyone, but like Christ, reach out Heal them in the name of Jesus. It shows that they are spiritual forces. Okay. And we need to be spiritual. And for people are desperate are going through a crisis. Okay, hold it. They were going to take a quick break. Uh, we've got a caller in now. Spread will take the call soon um, after we are done with this ad break. 089-110-4210 is the number to dial. This is question time. Introducing the man who takes the party from zero to hero, from bland to grand, from average to, well, to way above average. The guy who toots the party train horn and says, all aboard! You are indeed a party comrade, and we salute you with a bottle of Shivers Regal 12-year-old blended scotch whiskey, plus two glasses for just $279.99, exclusive to Tops at Spa. 
Black Friday weekend at Macro with hundreds of deals that are too big for Friday only. Get the Terrace Leisure Satin 594 burner gas bry only 2999. Save 2000 rand. A high sense 220 liter fridge with top freezer only 1899. Save 900 rand. And the LG 55 inch smart UHD LED TV for 999. Save 3000 rand. Don't miss Macro's Black Friday weekend. This Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Save up to 45% on selected in-store and online deals. Macro. Big on life. Welcome back. You are still watching Question Time. Zakela, you are in uh, Nelsprite? Yes, how are you, Mpo? I'm well. Thanks for the call, Zakela. I'm okay, Mpo. Yes. We are having a problem of this uh, pastors. Uh, these pastors, some of them, they are from uh, Africa. And they are coming to South Africa to do this. Uh, um, 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 because our... our our parents and our friends are sick, so they need the uh, people who can heal them. So they are very, very desperate. So, oh, this thing is very, very serious. I think the CRL must do something about this thing. Okay, Zakele, thank you very much. We'll put those questions to the CRL, and we apologize to sensitive viewers on some of those pictures that uh, we are frequently showing. Um, Reverend Fahri. Let me bring you in here. Yeah. I, I just wanted to add what Pastor Boro was saying. Um, for, for how are we going to do that? Um, and I believe that uh, when, when somebody's come to Christ, one of the things that is done is there's an induction program. There's basic courses that are, are given to people. Not, uh, not all uh, pastors it's are, supposed to be are done. inducted. It's supposed to be done. You just wake up as long as you can afford a marquee and some few instruments. You are sad. No, I did not just wake up to become a pastor. No, no, I'm no, not I'm, I'm just saying. You. Yeah. I'm just saying, I know you're not talking about yes. me, but it's not supposed to happen. Um, you need to be trained as a leader. Okay. Um, you need to be, obviously, you need to come from Bible school. But the thing is that the other issue that I have a problem with is that, as I said at the beginning, people are ignorant. You've got to have faith in God. You've got to be taught to have faith in God and not faith in doom and faith in a man, because okay. that's where the problem is. The temporal, this matter I can see is affecting you very, very much um, emotionally as well. Why do you feel this uh, so much pain? Aish, you know what? I've been doing shows, but this one, we deal with people who are rotten, who are attacked by terrible things. And the devil is really attacking the church. It is the spirit that is trying to make people lose faith in the church. Uh, this is not this past. It's a spirit behind him and all those who... These people don't give their children, their wives, snakes and rats. Why? There are so many methods. Why do you take things that are degrading Humanity. I mean, man is created in the image of God. We should respect that image. When you look at a man, you look at God. And, and, and God has never made us to be inferior. We need to pray, and I'm going to be starting to pray. We need to pray, uh, ask all the churches. Uh, because others, those pastors who, who don't know God's healing power, they get excited and start condemning the healing ministry. Uh, you will hear people like CRL, I, I was watching there. They will be talking other things. When somebody commits a crime, like in America and other parts of the world, there are people who will come and say they kill people for God. Yeah. So wherever the law is broken, the next time I'm worried, children, how many children are going to take these deadly things? How many children? Cockroaches. All the insects. How, why don't you do them to you? If really this is God, why don't you eat it? Why don't you use it? And now the Antichrist is... You say, I'm watching this woman. It's so painful. 
and people are sick. And should you move away the church? And what's going to happen to the, the last point I want to emphasize? There are extraordinary things that are done by God, through, not only through me, uh, through pastors. But you don't see them making headlines. The only things that make headlines are these evil things. And that's why people have to do bad to be on TV. Because it, it promotes that. If they can start, if you media people can start looking into things that are, are, are affecting and churches who are going out and, and, and making a difference, it will encourage everybody who wants to do anything wrong just to get attention and fame at the expense. Hey. Okay. We, yeah, we have come to the end of the show. Um, it's been quite a show. But yeah, that was question time for today. A big thank you to my guests and to you for watching the show. From me and the crew, I have a host. remains in the grip of a dry spell. It's led to water restrictions imposed across the country. About 20,000 cubic centimeters are being released per second. Authorities say that it could take 10 days. In the meantime, they're appealing to residents to use water sparingly. Transnet says that it's increased its revenue despite the weak economic conditions affecting volumes that it handled. The company says going forward it will be investing in measures and acquisition opportunities to expand Transnet services. It says while it does not believe South Africa will be downgraded, it has however begun negotiations with lenders to prepare for any eventualities. David brought back black and white photography to life through the Zanzibar exhibition. I'm a fanatic for tones and I love the kind of tones and gradients and grays and you know, I just, it, it never bores me. We're representing South Africa. I mean, we're flying the flag there, so uh, it, it's a beautiful thing for us. The dance floor is always lit when DJ Black Coffee hits the decks. He was praised for his appearance at this year's Coachella Music Festival in California. And he recently bagged the International Achievement Award at the 2016 Summers. Catch trends for that one hour weekly dose of art and entertainment news every Saturday from 12 to 1. girls crossing our borders often find themselves alone in the big city of Johannesburg. I came here when my pregnancy was six months. Like many other girls from Zimbabwe, Abigail found her way here to the Central Methodist Church. My friend who was raped and who was forced to have sex at the church. I insisted that the, the, this needed to be handled with the police. I think you don't have rights. You do what you don't want to do and you'll be forced. Any refugee in a strange country is vulnerable to forms of abuse and manipulation. I don't have an option. I can just continue to put the guys so that I can take care of my baby.
Six o'clock Central African time. A very good evening. You're watching SABC News Prime Time coming to you live from Johannesburg. I'm Babakshini Chetty Miller. Let's take a look at this evening's top stories. Unemployment rate rises to its highest level in 13 years. Police arrest four suspects involved in last week's robbery and abduction at a children's home south of Johannesburg. And Faf Duplessis guilty of ball tampering but cleared to play. In our top story, there's been a breakthrough in the botched robbery case at the TLC Children's Home in Aikenhof, south of Johannesburg. Four men were arrested this morning at the informal settlement just meters from the home. They will be charged with theft, robbery, kidnapping and attempted murder. The four, believed to be part of a gang of robbers, allegedly made a fake call to emergency services on Thursday, then hijacked the ambulance. They tied up the emergency workers. The gang then used the vehicle to gain entry to the children's home, where they abducted two security guards and three boys but police managed to intercept the ambulance and rescued them the suspects got away the body of the toddler, which was found in Buklu, north of Johannesburg, has been taken to a government mortuary. Emergency services say that the identity of the child will be made there once family arrives. It's believed to be the body of a toddler who drowned during the floods in Alexandra two weeks ago. She had been clinging onto her father when she slipped and fell into the Yixke River. Rescue teams have been searching for the body for the past two weeks. Parliament has finally passed the Division of Revenue Amendment Bill after failing to do so on two previous occasions. Failure to pass the bill due to a lack of quorum has led to several members of the ANC being hauled before the party's caucus disciplinary committee. Today the bill was passed by the National Assembly with little fanfare. Honourable members, I'd like to announce the voting results. The yes... Minus Honorable Madisha is 228. The no minus the Honorable.